means is every time he pulls the trigger, it fires. He doesn't have to pull back on the bolt like the lieutenant did. It uses a little bit of the gas from the expent round to shove that bolt back. It takes eight rounds, and here's where America's clever. It's the same size round. Why is that clever? Because we don't have to have all different types of them so we can ma mass produce them. They're cheaper, and for the soldier in the field, unlike the Brit, I don't have to look for three different types of calibers around. I can just use one round. It's on what's called an end block. Okay, what the lieutenant had was a clip. Piece of metal, you slide them on, you shove the rounds in, the clip doesn't go in. Another weapon we'll show you later has a magazine. This is not a magazine. It's not like time or life. This is called an end block. Go ahead and put the uh, end block, load the rounds. It weighs about 12 pounds. It too is accurate up to 800 rounds, uh, 800 yards. Go ahead and fire it. Now it's extremely accurate, and at the same time you saw how quickly we can get more fire out. Here's where the Americans differentiated from the Germans and the Brits. The Brits continue to use a weapon that's bolt fed. Now they did what's called the Mad Minute, where they crank that thing as fast as they can, but it's not real accurate. The Germans use a bolt, use a bolt as well. The Germans were stunned when we first hit the shores with this, because they thought we had a bunch of machine guns. It's also much more stable, and everyone knows who shoots. If you have a stable weapon, what? It's easier to aim. So the Americans, their tactic was, I don't have to have a whole bunch of machine guns. I can have a full squad of these guys, and it's just like a bunch of machine guns. So the power that we could put out in our fire, fire downrange was on an order of two to three times more than on the enemy.